What's up, it's Chris Harry, and we're right about to build some muscle in our chest, right from home or anywhere without any equipment, the same way we would do it in the gym. And that's using a progressive overload to reach hypertrophy to build more muscle and strength. You guys may or may not be familiar with using a progressive overload lifting weights in the gym, where you gradually increase the intensity, difficulty, and resistance over time. Well, today we're gonna be doing the exact same thing, but with body weight exercises. In fact, we're only gonna be doing push-ups and push-up variations. And we'll do this by increasing the difficulty and resistance of each push-up set by changing the push-up position and progression, creating a progressive overload and allowing us to build muscle literally from anywhere. So if you're ready to get started, all you need to do is download the Thenix app in the App Store or Google Play Store, or just hit the link down in the video description below. Once you're logged in, head to the YouTube workout section or the follow along workout section. You should be able to find this workout routine and you're ready to get started. Just make sure to smash that like button on this YouTube video and we are ready to go. Now, whether you're a beginner or advanced athlete, this is gonna be perfect for you. We're gonna start off at the easiest progression that anyone can do to start doing push-ups. But we're gonna be starting with high reps. And as we increase the more difficult exercises with greater resistance, we're gonna start decreasing those reps, creating that progressive overload. And we'll be resting for 20 seconds between each push-up set. And you can add more weight by throwing on a Harrier weight vest. Get yours at chrisharrier.com. And keep in mind, to really use progressive overload, you wanna increase the amount of reps or decrease the amount of rest time, or even increase the amount of weight that you're using. So come back to this workout routine weekly and make sure you're doing one of the three. And before we start, if you guys are having trouble being able to do push-ups on the ground or wanna improve your form, check out my video on how to do the perfect push-up. Now let's get started. So the very first exercise is gonna be high elevated incline push-ups. You wanna get on the tip of your toes, feet together, and you wanna be pushing from your chest line and up. We're gonna go for 40 reps. Remember to breathe, pace yourself. We're halfway there, this is just a warm up. Keep that in mind, but you want to give it a full range of motion. See, so on the tip of your toes, so you have the most amount of your body weight on these push ups. Last 10. Here we go, last five. Four, three, two, and one. There we have it, nice little warm up. We're gonna increase the difficulty now with the second push-up progression. That's gonna be high elevated one arm push-ups. The same thing that we were just now doing, but except with one arm. This is gonna develop a lot more strength in each arm individually. It's gonna translate to doing them on the ground. Now, if this is too difficult, you can always assist with the opposing arm, keeping that arm straight and really emphasizing on the pushing arm. Everyone else, stick to one arm. We're gonna go 15 times on each arm. Stay on the tip of your toes, give it a full extension and full range of motion. Here we go, last four. Three, two, and one. Working each arm and pec individually, it's also gonna strengthen both sides equally and cure any muscle imbalances which is very important if you wanna push to your maximum potential. Squeeze your core, last five. Last one, here we go. All right. As you start feeling that in your triceps as well as your chest, we're gonna move on to the difficulty and increase the resistance, the weight being applied to the exercise. So I'm gonna drop down to these ottomans. That's gonna apply more body weight onto these push-ups. We're just gonna go for some good old fashioned push-ups. We're gonna go for 25 reps. So remember, you wanna go straight down to your chest and right back up on the tip of your toes, squeeze your core and give it full range of motion. Really emphasize on your chest, all the way up and all the way down. Keep going, stay strong. Almost there. Last five. Three, two, and one. 
All right, there we have it. Shake it off. Now you should definitely start feeling the pump in your chest, but we're gonna increase the difficulty by changing the push-up variation. We're gonna be going for wide push-ups. I want you to increase that range of motion too. Go as deep as you can and come all the way back out. Give me full range of motion. Really work that chest. We have 20 reps for this set, and remember, if this is too difficult, just use something that's a little taller. You'll be able to do it. Push this wide. Let's go for these wide push-ups. Ten right there. Five, four, three, two, and one. For good luck. All right, there we have it. Go ahead, shake that off. Give yourself 20 seconds. We're gonna increase the difficulty again by dropping it down even lower, applying more body weight to the next exercise. So I'm gonna go ahead and make some space. And now that we're doing this on the ground, we're gonna be using the majority of our body weight. Now, although this is more difficult, we're doing less amount of reps. And I don't want you to rush these reps either. Since we're only doing 15 reps, I want you to give me some quality all the way up and all the way down. Full range of motion. Squeeze. We have 10 right there. Five, four, Three, two, and one. There you have it, we're flying through this routine and the chest pump is real. We've already hit our upper to lower chest, inner and outer split as well. Even our shoulders, triceps, and our core indirectly. And for this next set, it's really gonna show it. We're gonna be going for one arm pushups or assisted one arm pushups if you need to. And if any of this is too difficult, remember you can always stay on an elevated surface no matter how low or how high. We have 12 reps, so six on each arm. Let's get down to the ground. You can assist like this keeping one arm completely extended, or you can just go for it. All right, the pump is real. We just have three more exercises to go. Now we're gonna elevate our feet and that's gonna add even more body weight to each exercise. But of course, if you're feeling fatigued, you can always stay at whatever level you like and still have a progressive overload as long as you decrease the amount of rest time or increase the amount of reps, of course. So let's go for it. We have 10 reps to go. Give me quality reps, don't rush it. All the way down, all the way back up. Seven. Eight, nine, last one, 10. You should be feeling your pecs squeezing every single rep. All right, next set we're gonna get into is gonna be explosive negative push-ups with our feet elevated. Now, explosive push-ups on an elevated surface may be a bit dangerous if you're not that strong, so just push as hard as you can. You don't have to get off the ground. Remember, you can do this on any elevated surface as well. Feet up, come down slow, push up hard. Ooh, come down slow. Remember, you don't have to explode off the ground. You can just come up like that as hard as you can. Come down slow. All right, there you have it. Just a quick little five set. You can always increase the reps over time if you like. Now we're gonna get into the last and final exercise. That's gonna be a slow motion push up, and we're just gonna do one rep. But this one rep is gonna be a minute long. I want you to go down for 20 seconds, hold the bottom for 20 seconds, and then 20 seconds to come back up. So I want you to give it everything you got right here. Don't hold anything back. Let's get into push up position. We're gonna do this together. Let's start going down, squeeze your core, and go slow. Feel your chest. Now nice and slow. 10 seconds, you should be halfway. Getting closer to the bottom now. Hold it right there, 20 seconds. We're halfway, stay strong, squeeze your chest. All right, let's start to come back up now. Just 
be halfway up. 10 more seconds. Five more seconds. Four, three, two, and one. All right, there you have it. Should have been shaking by the end of that. You wanna give it everything you got, but that was a great set. And the pump is real. Right now, my chest has a crazier pump than the ones I get in the gym sometimes lifting weights. As long as you're utilizing a progressive overload, reaching hypertrophy, and over time, increasing either your reps, your weight, or decreasing your rest time, you're gonna see a lot of progress, a lot of strength gains, and muscle development. So if you enjoyed this workout, if you enjoyed the video, please smash that like button. I really appreciate it, and it helps YouTube share our videos to more people out there. Just show my appreciation. If you comment down below, within 30 minutes of any video, you're always gonna have a chance to win some Fenix gear. So congratulations to everyone that got through this workout with me. You're on your way to building a solid chest and some solid lean muscle, and not just looking strong, actually being strong while also indirectly developing your abs triceps and shoulders as well make sure to come back to this workout on a weekly basis to ensure that you're working your progressive overload and don't forget to schedule this workout at any time from your phone absolutely anywhere as well as thousands of workouts just like this that you can follow along to from your phone and schedule at any time download the Thenix app in the App Store or Google Play Store or just hit the link down in the video description below as a Thenix member you'll get full access to all our follow along workouts technique guides teaching you the most advanced movements like the full planche muscle up handstand and human flag step by step as well as daily challenges sent straight to your phone to ensure that you're always progressing and a community of millions of Thenix athletes around the world using the Thenix programs to get in the best shape of their lives every single day just like you. So hit the subscribe button with bell notifications on if you haven't already. We post every single Monday by 11 a.m. USA Eastern Time. And now that you got your chest right, it's time to get bigger arms using just a pair of bands. Check out this follow along video and I'll see you there. Mad love. Peace out.